Hey, what's up you guys? I know it's been a long time since I filmed a video, but we're just gonna look past that because I've just been feeling very inspired lately and I'm done with all the other responsibilities I have to have because I don't, I need to be, I've decided with myself that I need to be focusing on things that I actually enjoy. If you've never seen my videos, then I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a senior in high school, so that means I've went through freshman, sophomore, and junior year already. And um, I've done this thing on my channel that I started for myself, and a lot of people have really enjoyed it, is the looking at my schedule at the beginning of the year, and then seeing how much my opinions have changed on it, I guess you would say, or just talking about the class then at the end of the year. Junior year, however, I did not make a video on it, but I think it's honestly the most important year that I should have made a video on. So I'm just going to kind of do it all in one. I'm Junior year, in my experience and my opinion, is the absolute worst year of high school. I, I literally could not, I hated high school. I hated, I hated my junior year. I hated my junior year and I think a lot of that did have to do with my classes that I was taking. So, um, we're just gonna get right on into this video. I'm gonna talk about the classes that I took. I do have, a notebook full of those classes down here. Pre-calc. <sighs> I mean, I think this is really dependent on your teacher. It can be, I mean, the subject itself is extremely hard, but I had a really, really good teacher, so I didn't get bad grades in it or anything, and it wasn't really that hard for me just because of the way that my particular teacher taught. Now, what I will talk about is I am very, very bad at being on time to school, especially my junior year because I didn't try to be on time to school. I wanted to be late to school every day. And I'm gonna drop a number and it's gonna be how many times I was tardy to school last year and um, you're gonna drop your job because I promise you it is a problem for me. Um, a little context, my school has 180 school days and I was late for 90 of them. That is half of my junior year I was late to school. And at the beginning of the year, it was like I was 20 minutes late to school. And at the end of the year, it was like I was coming in after lunch. So that's how my junior year went. It was horrible for me. But in pre-calc, I actually did end up getting quite good grades. Again, it's all dependent on the teacher. Period two, I had yearbook. Um, Yearbook was supposed to be a really creative and fun class for me. And I, it, what, it wasn't for me because I'd already been to classes and design classes that I really enjoyed. And I like to have my freedom in design. And there are a lot of design elements in yearbook, obviously that you can't have that freedom of design. You can't use any pictures from the internet when you're designing layouts. Like, obviously your school might be different. It depends on your provider or whatever, but it ended up, in the end, that class ended up being more stressed than it was worth for me. Don't go into yearbook thinking all you're gonna do is take pictures and definitely don't go into yearbook if you've never had a design class or you've never used things like Photoshop or InDesign or things like that you're gonna have to learn that in that class, which is fine. I really enjoy doing things like those, but don't go into the class and all you're gonna do is take pictures because you have to write captions, you have to cover things and you have to remember things and you can't miss certain days that you're assigned. And third period, I had two semester classes. I had gym, which if you've seen my previous videos, you know at my high school, I take a semester of gym every year, all for high school and I get my credits that I need. Um, the second half of the year, I had communications. Communications is definitely, I think, one of the most, probably the most important class you'll take in high school, because it's usually required for all high schools, and it depends, obviously, each curriculum is different. My teacher had written her own curriculum from what she used in college, but if you're not a people person, and you are you have uh, not good communication skills, or you you know, don't like to speak in front of crowds or you don't know how to convey things a lot of time with your words, that class is perfect for you. 
I had honestly already, I'm quite, um, not, I wouldn't say I'm like outgoing, but I, when I need to talk to someone, I talk to them and I'm, I'd already been taught previously by other advisors and by my parents just to be professional in certain situations. I've, I've already had to do that in my life, but a lot of people haven't, which is fine because it just depends on what your life has been that like thus far. And things that we learned in that class are how to do a job interview, how to, we did career searching, we did um, speaking to crowds, um, we did a lot of different things with how, what what your facial and your hand gestures are communicating to whatever, whoever the audience is that you're speaking to. So that's a really, really good class. We did um, cover letters, ha filling out job applications, which is all very important, obviously. So I would just say that's one of those classes. Some classes you glide through because you hate them. Even if you hate that class, that's something that you need to take and apply to your life because you're going to need it. And then a fourth period, I had AP Psychology. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret because I previously would have thought that I was going to do a video on my AP exams, which I only took one because I only took one AP class last year. Um, but I'll just give you my score now. I got a one. You can't get a zero. You can get a one, two, three, four, or five, and I got a one. I went into psychology thinking this is probably the only science that I'll ever like. I was wrong. I hated psychology. It's not just parts of it I hated. Every single part of psychology is a theory and a lot of people love that. And I do not. I cannot wrap my head around science at all. I just don't think it's necessary. I'm a gut feeling person. I don't need facts in my life. I'm just chilling. I'm appreciative for the medicine and the science that other people are doing because I'd probably be dead without it, but it's just not me. I hated that class so much. And uh, also AP classes, just to let you know, at most schools, every curriculum is different, but you're basically getting a textbook and you have to read it. It's a lot of words <laughs> all the time. And then you probably get a PowerPoint or some type of notes in class. And then you take tests and quizzes or you just take tests. And that's because that's how a lot of traditional classes are in uh, college. Fifth period, which we have 5A and 5B at my school. 5A is lunch. For me, 5B is lab physics. Physics speaks for itself. I don't think there's a teacher in this world that can teach physics right. But lab physics at my school, it might not be called lab physics at your school, it's physics on freaking crack. It's basically honors physics. I don't know what to tell you about that class. You just gotta grind it out, power through. Ugh. Concepts are very hard to understand. It's a foreign language. It's not like anything you've ever learned before. And you will never want to take it again in your life. So if you're going into engineering or anything like that, have fun with that. That's all I gotta say. Sixth period, I had honors English 11. This is obviously gonna be different in any school. My 11th grade English class was uh, the history of English literature. So my teacher's a wild one. She's crazy, I love her, but she's crazy. English classes for me are usually pretty easy to get through. I mean, her class was definitely hard because she's a wild one. But you can usually, if you do your work, you can, you can power through. Then my seventh period class was nothing, basically. Um, the first semester I had travel and tourism, which is with a teacher that I love. I take a class with her every year just because I need a little of her in my life. Classes that are easy are not going to be your best friend because you're going to get very irritated because you're sitting there doing BS work and you're thinking I have a million things to do or my grades are going to kill me. So those, when you have time consuming work that is easy, you're not gonna be happy when you have harder classes. Uh, it's gonna affect you at some point. So just keep that in mind. And then my second semester I had multimedia. I took this only because I needed another computer credit for, why, for what reason, I don't know why. I took two computer classes my freshman year to get it out the way. But guidance wanted to try to kill me this year, so I just took it. And then eighth, P. 
period was my history class I took. I didn't take uh, our school. We have requirements each year. You don't have a choice of what you're going to take. World cultures is what we called it, but it is actually modern global history. They changed the coursework, but so we didn't learn about like ancient Mesopotamia. We learned about like the civil, not the civil war. We learned about all modern global history. So we learned like World War II, World War I, and we learned stuff like that, but it was obviously we learned a whole lot about different countries and their wars. I don't remember any of it. And that is, that was all my classes. And so you will see, pre-calc, I had to take a math, gym, communications, um, I wanted to take AP Psych. I did really want to take that. Physics I had to take. Honors English I had to take. Multimedia I had to take, which means I had to take travel. And then Modern Global History I had to take. So the classes that I chose as my electives were Yearbook and AP Psychology. Huh. Hated AP Psychology, really didn't like Yearbook. Now these were not my original electives. Obviously it's harder when you get into higher level classes, no matter if that's because you're taking more difficult classes or because you're moving up in the ranks, whatever it is, to get scheduling in because a little amount of people take the classes. So it's usually only offered, especially in my school, I have a small school, one time a day. So remember that. If you want some more advice on junior year things, then I would love to make a video on that. I really enjoy making videos about school, not because I enjoy school, as you can tell, but I just feel like I am the number one person I looked up. My freshman year, I looked up about 7,000 videos on freshman year advice and just this, just because I was obsessed with the idea of getting through high school and getting to college. Um, so now I'm a senior in high school, I've gotten accepted to college and I'm now watching all of the college videos. So I really like, that I'm at the point where I can make the videos that I love to watch. So I am um, definitely already have a bunch of videos planned for that. Leave comments down below of what you would like to see school related because remember I am a senior in high school. I've went through the entire college application process. I have taken the SATs. I have taken multiple AP classes at this point and I, I've done quite a lot in high school. So I have pretty good experience. I mean, there's nobody better with better high school experience than a senior in high school that has done all the things they should have. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below more videos that you'd like to see and comment down below what you're taking your junior year, if you're in your junior year, um, or what you took in your junior year. And if you have any other questions for me regarding junior year, honestly, leave them down, the, down in the description. If I don't respond to them, that means that I'm making a video about them. So I will put them in that video if you do have any questions. And subscribe for more, subscribe for more videos like this. And